But when we look at it from Krishna conscious point of view, we can simply see that this is all Krishna's arrangement for breaking down the resistance of these Western materialistic people to Krishna consciousness. So when Srila Prabhupada came, he came just, as, as we know, he came just at, it is said, at the right time. <laughs> now Prabhupada was not calculating in that way. He wasn't reading the newspapers. <laughs> oh, now there's a hippie league. Oh, I have to go there. <laughs> Baba just wanted to serve his, he was just executing the order of the spiritual master. But Krishna arranged. How, how is, you know, you can think about it, how is it possible that suddenly uh, there was a whole generation of young people in America and Western Europe that was suddenly very, very sympathetic to spiritual ideas coming from India. How is that possible? It's arranged by Krishna. So all of these persons, you see, the, these persons who became hippies, Prabhupada said, Prabhupada indicated that they are, you know, they all had been mendicants or you know, involved in some type of spiritual endeavor in their previous life. And Krishna just assembled them all together. And it's not that it, all of them became devotees, but in mass, they changed <coughs> society in such a way that Krishna consciousness could just spread anywhere. And this was all because of the strong desire of the devotees of the Himself. So Krishna helps his devotees. Similarly, Krishna arranged for Bhagavan Thakur to regain all that he had lost and actually perfect himself. But also, the prostitute was actually a devotee. And that Brahman and his wife, they were devotees. And being impelled by Krishna in the heart, they all said and did just the things to bring Guru Mangala Thakur to his right state of mind. Jai. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Jai.